y'all, it's me Alex. Today I'm going to be doing a little review on the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation. I have it in this shade 817 Light. Um, so let's get started. First I am going to apply a primer. I'm using the NARS Radiance Enhancing Pro Prime. I got a little sample of this from a friend of mine and I really really like it and it's helped. It's a good primer and I think I'm going to get the full size if I don't know what the price of the full size is, so maybe I won't. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering what's on my face, I have, um, I use the Urban Decay eyeliner in the shade Voodoo, I believe, and I have, and I just did that, some mascara, and my lipstick is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in Melted Frosting, which I kind of have mixed feelings about right now, but... I think it looks decent. It's just very light compared to my skin tone, but I think I like it. Like, I'm down. I'm gonna pin my bangs out of my face and show you all y'all my big forehead. There we go. Now normally in my foundation routine I would do like one side with a brush and one side with a sponge except I absolutely hate how this looks with a brush. It gets all streaky and I don't know if it's like the brush or if it's the foundation but I don't like it. So instead we're just going to go over my face with a sponge. I'm just going to squirt a little bit out. It's pretty thick. See, it's not really moving too terribly much. And I did get a big thing of it, but oh well. And I'm going to need this down here. Just so I can kind of see. Now this shade is one of the few that's actually that actually really matches my skin tone very well. I have a hard time finding something that matches because it's because I have a weird in between type skin tone, like not not like perfectly light, but not like perfectly medium either, and it has like cool pinkish undertones and it's weird. But anyway. And combine that with the fact that I have to find a cruelty-free foundation as well. This is going to be part of a series I'm doing as I'm on the search for my Holy Grail liquid foundation. Because I, that is my goal for the fall and winter of this year. So if you have any recommendations for a good cruelty-free liquid foundation that would work well on like combination skin, let me know in the comments. Because I'll probably try it out. This is getting on inside of my mouth and it's gross aren't I attractive oh that's because the hair got stuck in my lip hold on much better I'm such a pretty person that's why I do makeup videos now it covers pretty well I just have to get my chin here which is very surprising considering this is only about $3-ish. So that is really, really, really nice. I'm still going to have to do like my under eyes, but like I have, I get really bad breakouts around my chin. I've had that for a while now. And this is doing surprisingly well. Like you can't really tell. And I'll be checking in throughout the day on this too. So for my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using the NYX HD concealer in light.
Okay. Let me make sure I have all of that blended in. Much better. For my blush, I'm going to try using this Bare Minerals Strawberry Cream blush. I haven't tried it before, but I got that from a friend. And I think it would be really, really cute with the rest of my makeup looking pretty natural, too. Yeah, I'm not going to apply too much of it, but... Now I have worn this foundation before, that's why I'm doing it kind of right now to give you as good of a review of it as I possibly can. Like I've tried it out for a couple weeks now. And to kind of set everything I'm going to use my own Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Powder. It's gonna set my under eyes. And a little bit on my chin. Okay, yeah, I had to apply a bit more <laughs> lipstick just to make everything look nice. And there we have it. It's giving really good coverage right now. And I'm going to carry my camera with me throughout the day. I have classes and, well, I have work, then classes, and then work again. So I'll just be checking in throughout the day when I find time. And I'll see y'all in a bit. Hey, so it's a little after 5 o'clock now. Um, I filmed the first part around 9-ish. And I literally just haven't had a chance to check up on this at any part during my day ever because it's been extremely long. Um, my foundation is doing surprisingly well. You can kind of see where like the whole sunglasses thing is happening. And like my nose is red a little bit but overall it's I mean it's handled really well for a three dollar <laughs> foundation so I'm gonna check in a bit later probably towards the very 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 end of my day but yeah I'll see y'all then Okay guys, so it's now um, about 6.15ish. I know it hasn't been that long since my last update, but I'm tired. And I went out for a walk earlier, so that kind of shows a lot more like I'm oily. Especially around my nose and my T-zone area. But like, honestly, like I've been saying, for a $3 foundation, this has turned out really, really well. And yeah, I'm shiny, but I'm still mostly, aside from like this area, I'm covered, which is really, really nice. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. I'll see y'all in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!